Again, and today, people, today we are here for episode number 55, if I'm not mistaken, of a brand new Pokemon Radical Red Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, we began our journey down the scenic route here of the Kanto region uh, down to Fuchsia City so that we can continue on Route 19 over to Cinnabar Island and head towards our next gym badge. But of course, like I said, we're taking the scenic route, which is filled with mini boss battles. But of course, we are given oodles and boodles of encounters as well. We took on our first two mini boss battles in the last episode in the middle of a hailstorm. If you missed on that, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. Things did not go according to plan. And in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the heat is sweltering. It is beating down on top of us. Put your hands together and hope and pray that things do in fact go according to plan today if you guys are hyped for some more pokemon radical red hardcore randomized nuzlocke and of course if you'd like to show you support your supporters of prime another happy nation make sure to like button down below for us because you're already out your support is greatly appreciated now we are on a timer in today's episode i can already see the two jackasses we need to battle i'm gonna be honest with you i only team built for these two teams and i didn't even think about it until just now when i opened up the fucking game <laughs> when i team build like i have like I sit here with like just the box open, you know what I mean? Like I just sit here, I didn't actually look at the game itself. And now that I see it, I'm pretty sure that these two jackasses right here are the two motherfuckers we're gonna be battling today's episode. So still, goddammit, we all gonna get to a goddamn encounter. Ah, uh, spoilers, don't close the video, I promise. We're gonna get there eventually and get a Route 13 encounter. But we gotta work for it, we gotta work for it, goddammit, we gotta work for it. Anyways, let's go ahead and pull open this here biggity box and see what our squad is looking like for today's episode. Yes, 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 we have lots of mons, or I'm not going to say lots, but maybe a couple mons that we have not utilized before that are being called up to bat today. Drop your ass down. What the fuck you doing? On top of that, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you noticed, but I've been talking at a rather accelerated pace today. It's because Hector is on his way home and we have things to do. We have appointments to make. And I thought, oh my God, oh my God, maybe I can squeeze this recording in so we don't have to work as fast as we possibly can. So let's get a super de duper quick team recap up. First, we have Amelia, our level 73 Avalon, hold on to the Citrus Berry, Relax Nature with Filter, Rocket Avalanche, Rapid Spin, Ice Shard, and Recover, you know how she be. Up next, we got Jalissa, our level 73 Slow Bro, holding on to the Slow Bro Knight, Slow Bro Knight, Bold Nature with Regenerator, Rocking Psychic, Slack Off, Skull, and Yawn. Then we have Big Benny, our boy Big Benny, Ben Halloween, our level 73 Snorlax, holding on to the Citrus Berry. Sassy Nature with Thick Fat Rock and Return, High Horse Power, Heavy Slam, and Ice Punch. Then we got Brenda, oh my god, oh faithful Brenda, our level 73 is Suey and Gujra. Hold on to the Citrus Berry, Calm Nature with Sap Sipper Rock and Dragon Balls, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, and Ice Beam. Up next, we got Felix, our level 73. You want to talk about Old Faithful. Felix, level 73, Hyperia. Hold on to the Chapel Berry. All the way from Pallet Town, goddammit. Impish Nature with Solid Rock, Rocket, Earthquake, Ice Punch, Rock Slide, and Hammer Arm. And last, but certainly not least, we got our boy Dexter the Duck. On level 73, Porygon 2, holding on to that Eevee Light, Calm Nature with Analytic, Rock and Try Attack, Ice Beam Psychic, and Recover. Now, can you notice, can you fucking notice the trend amongst our team today? I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know, I have to go back and check, but I think this might be the thickest, thickest fucking team we have built 
in this series so far. Ladies and gentlemen, our first battle today is up against Bird Keeper Sebastian. Look at his squad. Look at his squad. Does our squad make sense now? I'm not even gonna ask you who you think the most threatening mod on his team is. He has a Landorus, a fucking Charizard, a Mega Charizard X, a Togekiss with Super Luck, and Scope Blends, and Aeroblast. He's got a Blaze again with Swords Dance, Thunder Punch, and Speed Boost, and that trophy is with gross and gross 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 and chlorophyll so pretty much everything on his team is a major major threat we went through multiple different iterations of teams for this team build i started building this i don't know if you guys caught it in the last episode in our building box i had a team for this already and I made changes to it. I've already made changes. I've made, like, so many changes to the squad. Because, like, I make a team, I make a build, and then I think, mm, I'm a little bit worried about that mod. Let me change this real quick. But the only answer to that is a mod that we have already on the team for somebody else. So I had to take that off and see, do we have somebody else for this? So, anyways, big super-duper long story. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Of course, we don't have it up. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Up first, ladies and gentlemen. We have this Landers Therian to take care of. We have Amelia, our Avalog here. Now, originally I had Ezekiel, our Gyarados, and Liability, actually. Lady Liability on the squad. Um, because I was going to go with this double intimidate plan for Blaziken, but... I don't know, this didn't work for the... Uh, the Marowak and Lavender Tower. So maybe it doesn't work here either. So we scrapped that plan for the Blaziken, and hopefully... Uh, we have a good plan for it. I'm really, really nervous about the Blaze again, the Mega. I I'm nervous about every single mod on this team, goddammit. Anyways, focus, 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 focus. Landorus, Landorus Therian. We have this Landorus here, and we have Amelia. I brought up uh, Ezekiel because we had Intimidate, and I was thinking about leading with Intimidate, and then swapping into Amelia, because I feel like he's going to go for Stealth Art no matter what. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like damage is damage, and with this strat, we got rid of all of our Intimidate users, so uh, wah, wah. we got to go with what we got. So, I even tried to run Ice Beam, but I don't know if you can see this. You can't see this right now, but check out Amelia's special attack stat. <gasps> it's 44. So, we're not running Ice Beam. We're just going to click Avalanche. Fuck it. This is base damage. 53% um, uh, with the Intimidate is going to be 36% min, 37% min, 43% max. I don't give a shit, to be honest with you. It's a Landorus. Damage is damage. Um, and this damage is still more damage than what he's doing to us. So set up your um, Stealth Rocks turn one if you want. I'll take the free 37%. Um, after that, I'm going to click Rapid Spin. And then after that, I'm going to click Avalanche again. And if you're still in and you attack me, it's going to do double damage and wipe this Landers. Uh, more or less, anytime, the, the most important part about this is anytime the Landorus is in, we can bring in Amelia. This Landers does not have Swords Dance. Thank the Lord, this Landers does not have Swords Dance. So anytime it's in, we bring Amelia in. So I don't really give a shit about Intimidate Turn 1. We make it do what it do. Up next, we got this Mega Charizard X. And initially, we had Felix. I write period here for this because last time we fought a Mega Charizard X, we had Felix. And he took care of him easy fucking beasy. And honestly, I initially had Felix for this slot as well. But I had to move Felix away from it. Uh, I guess technically, maybe he's in reserve, like maybe he's still on the team, so maybe he might be able to come through and assist with the Mega Charizard, maybe, mayhaps, um, but the only difference between this Mega Charizard X and the last Mega Charizard X we fought is this one has Draco Barrage. We fucking love Draco Barrage, don't we? Don't you love Draco Barrage? I fucking hate this move, dog. Anywho, this Draco Barrage does recoil damage. Um, our Mega Slowbro takes everything pretty damn spiffy from this Mega Charizard. If it decides to get a Dragon Dance up when we swap in, Flare Blitz does the most damage um, because we're in the sun, but it takes recoil damage as well. Even in the sun, our Psychic does 50% min. <laughs> like, the sun matters. We do 50% min, so all we need to do is live two of these. Um, so if we swap in on a Dragon Dance, we can still live two of these and kill. Um, if we, if he doesn't Dragon Dance, I mean, come on, what is he doing to us? This is 25% max, he's gotta get a max roll. This too, he's gotta get a max roll while doing recoil damage to himself. Like, come on, Mega Charizard X is cool, you made his flames blue, but he's getting stomped on by this fucking Blade Blade. Anyways, up next, we have this Togekiss, who initially was the biggest, I, actually, I'm gonna take it back. Yo, when you on a team with Landorus, Therian, and Mega Charizard X, 
and you are more of a threat than they are, come the fuck on. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to shit on Togius in any manner, like I'm like I'm saying like it can't compete with them, but in this situation, this Togekiss is most indefinitely the most threatening mon on the squad. It's got super luck and scope lands. Aeroblast has a high chance to crit as well. All of these numbers that you see right here are crits. If for whatever reason it does not land a crit, this is the numbers that we're looking at, which in all honesty, I think is kind of crazy. I, you know, on average, you don't have to team build with the notion of crits in mind. I mean, you do kind of, it's in the back of your mind always, I guess, but at the same time, it's like normally when you build like crits, like, uh, if it happens, like, okay, maybe we can handle that. Maybe we can shift to this or that, but this one, we had to plan for crits because I mean, come on, timid, super luck, timid. Super Luck Scope Lens, I feel like it's probably going to crit every single time. How much damage does a crit roost do? Oh, doesn't matter. Um, anywho, we brought Big Betty, our Snorlax here with Thick Fat, Sassinator with a Citrus Berry as well. Um, our Heavy Slam does 66.3% minimum to it, 66%. It makes it a two-hit KO. Um, pretty much with this damage that it does, as long as it's not loading up a Aeroblast, I mean, Moonblast might hurt too, but... We're in the sun. Maybe we can bait out Fire Blast. Who knows? Uh, who knows? Uh, as long as we are not getting fucked the entire time, as long as we can land an arrow, I mean, a uh, 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 heavy slam and not get fucked by arrow blasts. That's what I'm trying to say. I got all these thoughts in my head. I gotta put them in order. Uh, as long as we're not getting fucked by arrow blast, um, the idea I'm thinking here is like if he swaps out, and we have to swap in multiple times. As long as we're not getting fucked by arrow blast, heavy slam should get the job done. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Up next, we have Brenda, or Sui, and Gudra. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pretty scared of this Togekiss. <laughs> I'm pretty fucking scared of this Togekiss. So, um, Bird Keeper Sebastian only has five mons on his team. That gives us the benefit of having a plus six, or a plus six and a plus one, I should say. Um, an extra mon that can help take down this Togekiss in case we get too many crits off. Uh, on our Snorlax, we have Brenda here. Brenda can take hits pretty well. Um, again, this is all crit damage. Um, if for whatever reason we don't get critted, this is what we're looking at. But if we do get critted, um, this is the damage that we're looking at here. Um, either way, flash cannon is what we're hoping to hit. Uh, we can swap in and land a flash cannon. Obviously, Brenda and Big Benny don't outspeed um, this Togekiss, so we're just kind of at the mercy of RNG. Kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of. Now, at the same time... Brenda is also here to assist with this Tropius. Now, I introduced Big Benny first. Big Benny is our go-to for this Togekiss. If things go south with Togekiss, then Brenda is there to assist. But Brenda is also here to assist with this Tropius. I don't know. If this doesn't make sense, let me put it to you like this. Brenda is the plus six. Brenda is, Brenda is the plus one. <laughs> there you go. She's being introduced at number four, but she is the number six, actually. Um, but either way, she's here for the Tropius as well. She's got Sap Super. She's Calm Nature that eliminates the Giga Drain. Um, in the sun, this is how much damage Weather Ball is doing. If, for whatever reason, this Chlorophyll Tropius gets a growth up, we're kind of sort of panicking a little bit. We're not stressing too much just yet because of our Citrus Berry. It's got a Focus Sash as well. We can't forget about that. The Tropius has a Focus Sash, but Brenda is rocking Ice Beam. Which, worst comes to worst, we can live anything this thing has, even if it's already got a growth up. Um, so like I said, Brenda is here as the plus one on our squad, just in case, just in case she needs to help. Uh, when it comes to this Blaziken, ah, oh, if it wasn't the Togekiss, it's the Blaziken. If you said either Togekiss or Blaziken is the most threatening mod on the squad, you would be right in both occasions. Um, last time we fought a Blaziken, it was very, very risque. Uh, we barely skirted by it. Um, this Blaziken is kind of sort of the exact same situation, and they put this motherfucker in the sun, which makes his Flare Blitz just hit so much harder. So the damage you're looking at right now is with a Swords Dance up. I always try to team build with the idea of, like, they're going to send it in on, on something that forces me out, so they're going to get a free Swords Dance. So how do I go from there? How do I react to this Blaziken with a plus one speed boost and a plus two Swords Dance? Um, so, this is what we're looking at with a plus two swords dance. Initially, we had Felix on this Mega Charizard X because Felix handles this Mega Charizard X laughably. Like last Mega Charizard X we had, we had Felix for it. He took care of it. 
Felix has been re-delegated to this Blaziken. Oh, I wonder when we're going to find a Mega Blaziken. I hope we don't have to find a Mega Blaziken in the sun. Knock on wood. I hope that doesn't happen because if it does, we're going to get fisted. Anyways, Felix is here uh, to take on this Blaziken now. If he is sitting at plus two, we can live a close combat with our Chopple Berry. We negate the Thunder Punch. Um, this is in the sun. Flare Blitz does so little damage, maybe about half, 50%. I mean, it could very well. Uh, if he's already Swords Dance up and we sw swap in on a Flare Blitz, when the fuck is that going to happen? Um, if we swap in on a Swords Dance, then that's the maximum amount of damage he's doing to us. We're clicking Earthquake every single fucking time. Every single time. If we swap in on Blaziken clicking Swords Dance, we click Earthquake. I don't care if the Landorus is there. I don't care if the Char- I mean, uh, the Togekiss is there. I don't care if the Tropius- Tropius is Grass Dragon. Definitely don't give a shit. That's chip damage. I don't care. I don't care if the Togus or the Landorus are alive, I'm clicking Earthquake. This Blaziken is just as big a threat as the Togus. I'm clicking Earthquake. I want it gone. Gone, gone, gone. This is the one time I'm allowing myself to be fully tunnel visioned. I want this fucking Blaziken gone. He's gotta go. And last but not least, we have this Tropius. I know we said we had Brenda with Sap Sipper here for the Tropius. Um, that was who we initially had for the Tropius, but we had to move her to the Togekiss. Um, so, we brought Dexter, our duck, the Porygon 2 with, uh, the Eevee Light, Calm Nature with Analytic, Try Attack, Ice Beam, Psychic, and Recover. Ice Beam obliterates this thing. Um, this damage that you're looking at is with a gro growth as well. <laughs> God damn! Is <laughs> with a growth as well, and um, if it does want to get a growth up, we can still live it. We're good. That's a weather ball in the sun. Uh, ice beam blows it away. We don't have to worry about anything. So yeah, I guess you could see Brenda as uh, taking care of this Tropius. If not Brenda, then definitely in the Porygon too. But I will say, out of the two battles we have today, this is the one. That I am most definitely stressing about. So without any further ado, I am pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure our team is good to go. My bird Pokemon want to battle with you. Oh, bitch. Come on. You better be Bird Keeper Sebastian. Hell yeah. Bird Keeper Sebastian. Send out that lander is bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And hey, we're on a timer today. We're on a timer. I'm, yo, yo, I'm just going to say, this battle scares me a little bit, but Hector scares me more. Let's go. We're on a timer. Intimidate us. Intimidate us. We click Avalanche, right? No, we click Rapid Spin. Do we click Rapid Spin? He's going to click uh, Stealth Rock, right? No, we click Avalanche. Fuck! I should have clicked Rapid Spin. <laughs> Got rid of him right away. No, we want the damage. Yeah, we want the damage. Now nah, we want the damage. Yeah, we want the damage. Now nah, we want the damage. Yeah, we want the damage. Now nah, we want the damage. Yeah, we want the damage. Okay, so what do we do now? Is he U-turning out or... Wait, the AI clicks U-turn when it has no damage to do. Earthquake and Stone Edge don't do more than 14%. I'm gonna click Rapid Spin. He clicks U-turn. Yeah! Ah, 55 episodes in, you think we're learning the AI yet? Do you think we're learning the AI yet? Wait, this is the blaze again. Ah! Hold on, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Hold on, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Hold on, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, now I'm ready, now I'm ready. Hold on, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, now I'm ready, now. Okay, wait, focus, 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 focus. We can jam out some other time. Who, wait, who do we have for this thing? Who do we say? Who do we say? Who do we say? Felix! Um. Oh, I hope you don't go for a close combat. Go for a flare blitz. Ah! I went for a sword stance. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, close combat. No, 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 I said it. We hold. Wait, how much does, wait. Rock slide does 50%. Oh my God, do you think he's gonna go out to the Tokyo's? I do it. I told you we all W! Oh my god, Fighting Gem, 81.6%! Oh my god! Felix! Felix Smash! Get this Blaze again out of here! Woo! Okay.
Okay, that's one of two threats gone. Oh my god, I feel like I'm zooming through this battle. Let's go, 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 let's go. That's why I tell the girls when they're taking too long. You want to sniff? You want to sniff while we walk? Take your sniff. We'll give you your sniff. Come on, I know it's like reading newspaper. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can't walk, sniff, walk, sniff, walk, sniff, walk. No, 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 we gotta go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's tell the kids, hold up. Threat number two, we go out to Brenda. No, 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 no. Brenda is back up. Brenda's back up. We go out to. Wait, no, he takes it better. Oh, wait, who? What is he gonna click? Moonblast, 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 Moonblast. No. Benjamin still takes Moonblast better. He's not fire blasting Felix. It's not gonna fire blast Felix. We go out to Benjamin. Benjamin, thick fat, takes the fire blast. Well, if this motherfucker wants to land that shit, ah, he moonblasted. No, that's what I was talking about. Fire, no, 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 I said he wasn't gonna fire blast. And then I <laughs> tunnel visioned on fire blast. Oh, my special attack dropped. It's okay. 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 Okay, focus, 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 focus. So the. Wait, let's double check. Landers is still alive. The Blaziken is dead. So the Mega Charizard and the. Who's his last mod? Tropius. Oh, ho, ho. The Tropius is still alive. Okay, okay. Um, I do it. Ah! This sends like shivers up my spine when I just click it. Ah, I got a crit! You bitch! That's why we got a citrus berry. Okay, 66% men. If we can get a powerful 79%, that'd be great. Yo, Big Benny, I need you to recognize this thing as a threat and deliver us a crit! Or don't, or don't, or don't. That's fine, that's cool, that's fine, that's cool, that's fine, that's cool. Okay, so the heavy slam's not gonna do shit to the Charizard. Oh my god. I don't care. I have to click it, right? No, I can click Ice Punch. No, that's not gonna do anything to the Charizard. He's gonna come out as a regular Charizard, though. That'll do more than a heavy slam will, right? No, wait! Return! I click return! Return does 42% to the Togekiss. And it would do the most to the Charizard in anybody else. I mean, it'll go out to he'll probably go out to the He'll probably go out to the Landorus. Ice Punch does 42% too. So if he goes out to the Landorus to intimidate us, I click Ice Punch. I mean, the Charizard's gonna be fire flying. I mean, that's neutral, right? Right? And Ice Punch will pop the Tropius and then bitch ass Blaziken's dead. I click it. <gasps> ah, I should click Heavy Slam. Damn it! God damn it! I mean, I don't think. Uh, no, Heavy Slam might have killed. 80% max. Damn, that was a min roll if I've ever seen one. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Ah! <laughs> I'm being played! Ah! Come on, Benny, we have to hurry this up. We have another battle to do. Go on! Oh, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. Okay, we're swapping back to Heavy Slam. Ah! <laughs> Arrow Blaster! And we already got rid of our Citrus Berry. I'm throwing, I'm throwing, I'm throwing, I'm throwing, I'm throwing, I'm throwing. This is what happens when I rush. That's what happens when I rush. That's what happens when I rush. Yo, Big Benny, now is the time. We're at 35%. Whoa, Big Benny, now is the time. Ah, oh, Big Benny, now is the time, yo! 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 All right, no stranding mons, gone. Get that Blaziken, get that Togekiss the fuck up out. Now you got a Zalanderith. Oh, the Tropius is next. Bro, ain't no motherfucking way. Hold up. Bro, don't tell me you sent this motherfucker out here. Don't tell me you sent this bitch out here because you thought you was going to get a free growth. Ain't no fucking way, dog. Look. Look at this shit. Why the hell this AI sent this motherfucker out? Tell me. Make it make sense. This bitch level 71, right? Adamant, chlorophyll, focus, sash. You think you going to get a free growth? Hold up. If you had a plus two, oh, that Dragon Ball's doing 31%. You think you're even going to attack us? I'm clicking Ice Punch. This is what it looked like, right? The sun is on. What the hell is motherfucker sending this shit out? I'm clicking Ice Punch. Right? I'm clicking Ice Punch, right? This motherfucker click growth. What the hell? I know, I know this A, I don't think. I know this ad hey, don't think you pulling this shit off on me, bitch. I know this ad hey, don't think you pulling this shit off on me, bitch. Uh-uh. Hell no. Hell no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So check this shit out. 
Plus two. Wait, no, wait. Hold up, bitch. I'm on the wrong pack. On the wrong page. So plus two Dragon Balls do 36.9%. It does less to our Snorlax, Big Benny. Uh, but he's sitting at 35% uh, HP. Um, however, if this Dragon Balls were to do the damn thing, um, damn, why can't you get some shit, bro? I'm not. I'm not gonna risk it. Brenda's here for this. I'm not gonna risk it. I know all y'all wanted me to risk it. The Dragon Balls would have done 32% max. We were sitting at 35% HP. I couldn't. I couldn't let that shit happen. I'm sorry. 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 And actually, no. We're gonna run it again. We're gonna run that fucking maybe, maybe not again because we're at 145 HP. That's 65%. A crit from this Tropius will do 65% max. Crit weather ball, by the way. <laughs> not a crit. Get this bitch out of here, ho! Get this bitch out of here, ho! Get this bitch out of here, ho! Get get this bitch out of here, ho! All right, come on. Hey, Brenda! That's what I'm talking about. Even with the Chris, don't matter. We getting them. Hey, Brenda's adding to her kill list. She's ready. She heard about who who got the most kills in this game so far. She heard about it. She's ready. Okay, this. Oh shit! I forgot all about Charizard. Hold up. It's got to be Jalissa. I ain't gotta check the damage count. I can remember that. Jalissa! Oh lord. I kinda just tunnel vision that. Is he clicking Dragon Dance? I hope he clicked Dragon Dance. I just want I just want the most HP possible. Whoa! Earthquake. On a regular slow bro, not on our mega slow bro. That's why I wanted him to Dragon Dance. Okay, we're at 186 HP. Um, we're still clicking Psychic, right? Or should I click? Actually, he can't crit. I'm clicking Psychic. So I was gonna say, even if he clicks um, Dragon Dance, he can't crit us. His with his Dragon Dance, Flare Bliss does 41% max, and it's just him and bro. Get this motherfucker out of here. Let's go, Jalissa. Let's go, Jalissa. Let. Let's go, Jalissa. Let Let's go, Jalissa. Hey, 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 bro. I feel like both times we fought a Mega Charizard X, this motherfucker just gave up each time. Why? Why? Why is the AI like this in your game? Why does the Why Why do they just give up like this, bro? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. I didn't mean to speed through that psychic, but Jalissa, I got you. I got you. So this all it means is this Landorus is left, right? It's just the Landorus. Which this is good because you can send him out. Jalissa's going to get intimidated. <laughs> Jalissa's going to get intimidated. And we're going to ride out to Amelia. How you doing? Boop! Where you going, bro? Wait, 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 wait. Where are you, where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Hit that U-turn. Bow! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't got this hoe the fuck up out of here. My combo lost. It did indeed. It did indeed. Look at our squad. Look at this squad of champions, and we actually have some of them that are going to be participating in our second battle today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going up against Picnicker Susie, and let me tell you, um, I'm not super duper scared of her squad, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, I'm not 100% sure. Actually, I think it's those two. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. But yes, check out Picnicker Susie's squad. I hope this is homegirl that's up next. Is that? Yeah, that looks like a picnicker. Or a camper? Is that a camper? It looked like the camper we fought in the last episode. But I need to snag the proper damage calc here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, even though Dr. Chu's not going to really make an appearance here, this will be counted as Dr. Chu's checkup. Um, but we're going to go ahead and organize our squadron here according to how we need it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, like I said, like I said, let me know who you think 
uh, their most threatening mons are in the comment section below. I thought Benny was coming here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm lost. I'm lost and confused. I'm lost and confused. Uh, Benny is coming. I just can't read. <laughs> Betty is on the way. I just don't know how to read. Okay, there we go. We're back on track now. God damn. Jesus. Okay, so we do have a couple uh, new members of our PC box debuting here today. Um, and I think we also need to update some items and some natures. Maybe even a moveset or two. Um, so, our Gudra, are you... Uh, well, I have Wish on this moveset, but why? <laughs> uh, why? That's the real question. This is supposed to be a super fast episode, and look at me here doing these things. Okay, that works. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Alright, we're good there. Um, and really, the only other one we have to check is Big Benny! Um, uh, yo, past me is looking out for current me. And all we need to do is hit this one up real quick. Get rid of that. Which I don't think we need. Actually, that might have been a mistake, but, uh, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep going with it. We're gonna keep going with it. Because oftentimes, current me questions past me. And past me is always looking out for future me, right? Isn't that how it always goes? Um, but we need Brick Break on our boy Big Benny here. And I believe that is the last change that we need to make. So I hope that you have checked out Picnic or Susie Squad and let us know who you think the most threatening mon she has on her squad is in the comment section below. And for a quick team recap, before we get into this bitch, we have Bay Fong, our level 73 Tapu Bulu, holding on to the Citrus Berry, Jolly Nature with Self Sufficient, Rockin' Horn Leech, Nature's Madness, Play Rough, and Brick Break. Yes, I know it's not a ground type, but I don't need it to be a ground type. And up next, we have Brenda, our level 73 Asui and Gujar, holding on to the Citrus Berry, Calm Nature with Sap Sipper, Rockin' Dragon Ball, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, and Ice Beam. Then we have Jessica, joining the squad for the First time, ladies and gentlemen, Jessica, our level 73 cast form. Yes, you heard right. Jessica, our level 73 cast form, is joining the squad. Holding on to that citrus berry, modest nature with forecast, rocking weather ball, hydro pump, ice beam, and thunder wave. Then we got Big Benny, our level 73 Snorlax. You know him, you love him. He's holding on to the Citrus Berry, Sassy Nature with Thick Fat Rack and Return, High Horsepower, Brick Break, and Yawn. You might have known that already, though. Then up next, we have another day building mod in our squad. Big Brown Lord, our level 73 Guard Boater, holding on to that Guard Boater Knight. Guard Boater Knight. It, guard, guard Boater Right. There's no extra N there. Guard Boater Right. Jolly Nature with Gooey. Rockin' Poison Jab, Drain Punch, Ice Punch, and Return. And last, but certainly not least, we have Victor and Polion, level 73, holding on to the Citrus Berry. Timmy Nature with Torrent, Rockin' Scald, Aqua Jet, Flash Cannon, and Yawn. So, yes, 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 yes. I hope that you have taken the moment to check out what we're doing. If you walk with me over here, we can check out our plan. We have Tapu Bulu, Beifong, our Tapu Bulu, uh, taking on this shift tree to begin. Of course, it's permanent sun from the overworld. Uh, we take everything from him pretty damn well. I'm pretty sure he's going to click Fake Out, then Solar Blade. Fine with us. We have Self Sufficient and Citrus Berry. Uh, we are Jolly Nature because Jolly Nature outspeeds everything else on Picnic or Susie's team. So on the off chance that we have to fight anything else, we can get off a Play Rough on that Gudra. We can get a Nature's Madness off on that Sylveon. A Brick Break off on that Heatran. A Nature's Madness off on that Mega Owl Creamy. Whatever we need, Jolly Nature outspeeds. I think initially we were impish or relaxed or something like that. Um, and then last minute I thought, wait a minute, this is fucking dumb. Let me change this shit. So yeah, we take hits pretty damn well. Solar Blade is the hardest thing to hit us with, but even that is a 31% chance for a 3 KO. So we're clicking Play Rough, turn one. <laughs> no matter what, we're clicking Play Rough. Uh, but like I said, I'm pretty sure he's going to click Fake Out, but yeah. 
That's how we're handling the shift tree. Up next, we have this Gudra. And what better to handle a Gudra than a Soian Gudra? Brenda is here to take down this wannabe Brenda. You know, to be fair, we did have a regular Gudra, and I feel so bad that we lost it. But that's Lagoo, put in work. It did, it did, it did. Anywho, Brenda is here to take on this regular Gudra. This regular Gudra has Draco Barrage, Fire Blast, Thunderbolt, and Sledge Bomb. We're rocking Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, Flamethrower, and Ice Beam. Dragon Pulse does the most to this Gudra. Um, Dragon Pulse does pretty much more minimum than anything this Gudra can do. Fire Blast Max barely squeaks it out, but pretty much our man on Dragon Pulse does more uh, than this Gudra's Max. So as long as we don't swap it on a Fire Blast, uh, we should be good to go to pretty much 1v1 this Gudra. We're calm nature, they're modest nature as well, with an assault vest, so like, <laughs> get shit on. Up next, we have this Sylveon. Famous last words. Get shit on. Up next, we have this Sylveon, who I was going back and forth about who we should have to take on this Sylveon. Initially, I had Victor, and Victor, I guess, kind of, sort of, is still back up. I think Victor's Flash Cannon does, like, 58% min um, to this Sylveon, and we take uh, Weather Ball, I think, is, like, 40%, 45% to Victor. So he's here as backup. Um, this is another similar situation to Birdkeeper Sebastian. They have five mons, we have six, so we have a plus one to bring to this battle. Victor is our plus one. So Victor's here to help with the Sylveon, as well as that Mega Alchemy, but we'll get to Victor. Um, we have Jessica, our cast form here, who the moment it pops out of the Pokeball, should turn into cast form sunny form. Um, and Weather Ball is 40% minimum to this Sylveon. Um, much more damage than anything else that Sylveon can do to us. Um, last Resort would not be the first move that it utilizes either. This is, again, uh, Last Resort, EVMZ, this is like the Vaporeon we fought in Teladon City. I don't get it, but sure, okay, let's rock out with it. Um, so either way, that's the most damage it can do to us. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, like I said, initially I had Victor for this role, but I was a little hesitant about that Mega Alcremie. Um, and I wanted some backup for it, so I re-delegated Victor for the Mega Alchemy and tried to look for other solutions to the Sylveon because I felt like it was easier to find another solution to the Sylveon than it was to find a solution to the Mega Alchemy, so... That's the thought process so far, and I was pleasantly surprised, you know, I was sitting there thinking, who can take a Fairy and a Fire-type move? Well, a Fire-type, duh. And out of box one comes Jessica! The fire type cast form um, and at the same time I have regular cast form because I didn't load up any moves or anything but um, all of its special defenses it's it's um, HP it, or special defenses HP all of its stats are the same as cast form in the Sun nothing changes it's all base 85 so the damage that you see on this cast form is the same damage it'll take when it swaps in which I'm sure most people knew but mm, if you didn't now you know up next, we have this Heatran, which you think would have probably been the most threatening mod in this squad, um, especially with its air balloon, but we have Big Betty here with Thick Fat and a Citrus Berry, sassy nature to eat up anything this thing does. Magma Storm is, of course, going to be annoying. I'm pretty much just assuming it's going to click Magma Storm the moment it comes in, um, but either way, we basically click Brick Break and then High Horsepower. Uh, if it's not holding on to the air balloon, High Horsepower just fisted. So we're gonna click Brick Break to get rid of the air balloon and then high horsepower to absolutely blow it away after that. I wouldn't be surprised if it swaps out or it clicks Protect or whatever. Doesn't really matter. Your Magma Storm damage doesn't really matter to me either. I thought about running Leftovers just in case, um, but if we swap in on a Magma Storm and it decides to click uh, Solar Beam after that, actually even that damage is laughable. Maybe we should run Leftovers to help deal with the Magma Storm. No, I'm gonna keep the Citrus Berry. This is, no. I'm gonna hold W for now. I'm gonna hold W for now. Let's see what happens. Maybe the leftovers will be more beneficial, but we're on a timer here. We're on a timer here. Up next, we have this Mega Owl Creamy. And how do you handle the Mega Owl Creamy? You big of Mega Gar Boulder. You got a big old pile of sugar. I'll bring a big old pile of trash. We have Grime Lord, our Mega Garboder, making his debut today against this Mega Alchemy. It's bold nature, but a poison jab still does 86% minimum. Um, if we swap in and it clicks Misty Explosion, that does quite a lot of damage. Um, but we should be able to take it. Um, I did do the calc with a regular Garboder as well. I don't know where it's at. Oh, this is Sylveon, Empoleon. 
I must have uh, overwritten it, but we can take it as a regular Garboder as well. Um, but if for whatever reason it does not click Misty Explosion, it decides to go for one of these two instead. We can take this and a Misty Explosion, but we pretty much load up a Poison Jab no matter what. If we're expecting a swap, we have optional maneuvers to use as well. Drain Punch for the Shiftry and the Heatran. Ice Punch for the Shiftry and the Gudra. We have Return for the Sylveon. And, you know, pretty much this Mega Garboder just handles everything else. Um, like I said, Victor is here to assist with the Sylveon as well as the Al Creamy, or uh, the Mega Al Creamy. He can live a Misty Explosion as well. He can live pretty much anything from this uh, Sylveon and hit back with 49%, pretty much almost half, 60% of the Mega Al Creamy as well. So that is our strategy moving forward in today's battle i hope that everyone is ready to go oh i'm so nervous i'm so nervous i'm so oh my god they're... oh fuck i walked too fast there's another picnicker i haven't team built past this picnicker alma is next oh wow oh wow oh wow okay well focus 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 i'm told i'm too good for a kid okay let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at Bay Fong! Hell yeah, Bay Fong! Let's go! Fucking go, Bay Fong! We hold W. We hold W. I knew you was clicking play. I mean, fake out. We hold W. Bay Fong is okay. It's okay. I imagine his like his little his little the the top of him clicks together like castanets when they click uh fake out. Knock off! Alright, babe boy, it's all you! Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! Fuck that shit tree up! Ah! Fuck that shit tree up! Ah! Alright, babe Fong, I love it. Incredible debut, you did exactly what you needed to do. Thank you, 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 thank you. And he knocked off our citrus berry too, you bitch. I should have known he was going to click fake out knock off, not Solar Blade. Okay, anyways, focus, focus, focus. What can this Sylveon do? Can we get a little sneaky hit off on this bitch? Can we maybe, perhaps? You know, it doesn't hurt to try. Doesn't hurt to try. We are sitting at a whopping 66%. Hyper Voice will do 52.6%. It'll do 66% minimum if it crits. Um, but, um, Play Rough will do 54%, man. Nature's Madness will do 50%. Um, so it's gonna go for a Hyper Voice. Um, and we brought... Benny? For this? No, we brought... Whoa, he's gonna Hyper Voice? Okay, 26% max to Jessica. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't believe it! Oh, I ever won them all! 24% max! What? <laughs> what? Why did that do so much damage? I don't understand. Is it the pixelate? Is the da I don't understand. Does the damage count not know how to calculate this? Why did that do 123? That didn't say crit either. That just did 66%. How? 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 How did that do 66%? I'm so terribly confused. Even in the sun, weather ball. What weather ball pixelate? I don't understand. How much does pixelate boost it? If that e is even a thing. 1.2. Uh I don't understand how a level 71 Sylveon just did 66% with weather ball to my cast form. Um, I outspeed. So what happens if I click weather ball? If you do so dramatically more. No, it could have done 66% because my citrus didn't pop. Forty-six percent. So even then, how did it do forty-six percent? What the fuck? Uh, 
I'm holding W. This bitch! I'm confuzzled all around. Everything is confuzzling me. I don't get it. I looked at the numbers, the numbers are backwards. I don't understand. How did, how did it do so much fucking damage? Did it say it was a... No, even a crit doesn't do that much damage. How the fuck did that bitch do so much damage? It had to have been pixely. That's the only thing I can think of. Is that if, if we go to the Sylveon... I don't know how to the because Pixelate turns normal type moves into fairy type moves. So does that? How does Weather Ball work with Pixelate in the Sun? I feel like that is the confusion here. How do I figure out the accurate damage and or why did that just happen? I don't understand. Um, Brenda, I remember Gudra for Gudra. Brenda, come on out. Sylveon ain't dead yet. We still got Victor. We can figure that shit out later. This Drago Barrage shouldn't do no more than 31%. And I want you to take all that recoil damage too. Take it. 160. So they did 28%. Uh, we are clicking Dragon Pulse on this thing. I did 20 points of damage after the citrus berry. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh wow, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be close. Ah, this bitch! Oh, you whore, you whore. Hey, but does this pop the air balloon? Ah! Oh, you should have never done that. You stupid motherfucker. Oh, I already know. High horsepower, Big Benny. We hold W. High horsepower, Big Benny. We hold W. 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 We hold W. 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 Lock me in, dog. Lock me in, bro. Lock me in, bro. Big Benny is here. We do it, right? We do it. We do it. We do it. Wait, who's still alive? Who's still alive? I feel like I killed no one. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? The Shift Tree. Shift Tree is dead. Gudra, Sylveon, Heatran, and the Mega Alchemy is still. Oh my god, we're not out the woods yet. I already said I don't give a shit, right? I'm clicking on high horsepower. Get his ass up out of here. Get his ass up out of here. I said, get his ass up out of here. Get his ass up out of here. All right, Big Benny. You did great things, bro. You did great things. Has this citrus not popped yet? Are we not actually at half? Whoa, alchemy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Citrus has not popped. Um, wait a minute. This alchemy... Um, uh, this is mega Al Greamy. What are you doing out here? Okay, so we're at 172 HP. 51% Misty Explosion does 58% Min. Return does 47% Min. We are going out to who takes the... Okay, so I'm only guessing it's going to Misty Explode. If it doesn't Misty Explode, I don't know what the fuck to say after that. Um, our... I was gonna say, I don't know who takes the hit better. Either our Empoleon or our Garboder. But well, let's double check to be sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the Empoleon. Alright, so if I think it's gonna miss the explode, we're going on to Victor. We gotta be quick. We gotta hold W. We're running out of time here. Yo, Misty Explode. Just get rid of this thing. Get rid of it. You don't need it. You don't fucking need it. Look at this thing. Hell yeah! Get rid of it! Get rid of it! I don't wanna deal with it! Swallow that hit, Victor! Swallow that hit! Went straight down his throat! This week's groceries gone in a heartbeat! Thank you, Victor! Thank you! Hell yes! Who you got next? Send out this motherfucking Gudra. 
What is this Gudra got? Fire Blast, Draco Barrage, Sludge Bomb, Thunderbolt. It's clicking Thunderbolt. Who do we got for Gudra? Brenda? Brendeezy! Come on through for this Gudra. Come on through for this Gudra. Come on through for this. Are you kidding me? Well, we didn't have speed to begin with. This thing's modest. So we're at 122 HP. We're at 122 HP. Which is 55%. There's nothing this Gujar can do to us. But the only issue is, is that it outspeeds us. And our Dragon Pulse is not doing enough. 31.3. Damn, how come nobody misses Fire Blast? Come on, did, did Fire Blast get, uh, did accuracy get up to 100% in the sun? What the shit? We're at 24%. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. We have to swap. We're at 24% right now. I have 53 points of health. Fire Blast from this Gujar does 28.8 .8 minimum, and it outspeeds us. Brenda! Brenda! Um, let's see here. So we are at 172 HP on Big Benny. Let's see what happens if this Gujra attacks Big Benny, if we swap in. Uh, who is this? Picnic or Susie? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, so Fire Blast would do 10% most, and then we can most definitely live a Draco Barrage and click Return afterwards. We go out to Big Benny. I'm holding W. We're on a timer. I'm holding W. We're on a timer. I'm holding W. Oh, we're for the Draco Barrage! Not even the Fire Blast! Was the Draco Barrage enough? The Draco Barrage was enough to kill Brenda. And we got a Citrus Berry! Eat that shit up, Big Benny! God damn! We ended up with an extra... <laughs> we ended up with an extra fucking seven points of health at the end of that, and it's recoil damage killed it. Oh lord, that Gujra was ready to take take itself down to kill our Gujra. You goofy bitch. You goofy bitch. Okay, who you got left? Just this Sylveon? Can Big Betty take out this Sylveon? Hold up. Hold up, we gotta see. Can Big Benny take out this Sylveon? Sylveon can do 40% max. We're at 53%. Oh, that's with Last Resort. It's not clicking Last Resort. Hyper Voice is the most it can do at 38%. We're at 53. 38% is a crit, by the way. Return is 53.3. I click it. Hyper Voice, all you want. Hyper Voice, 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 hyper voice, all you want. Hyper, 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 hyper voice, all you want. Hyper, 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 hyper voice, all you want. Okay, god damn. Well, shit. We have taken out everything we meant to do today, and I'm about 99% sure I just heard Hector come in the door. So that means that we have accomplished. Everything we meant to accomplish in today's episode, and it's time for us to wrap up our episode here. God damn. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of our Radical Red Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke, and of course, if you'd like to show you support us a private of the Happy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, if you'd like to show you support us a private of the Happy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. I don't know what's happening here. Did I which pill did I take? What the fuck? We're going in reverse. Anyways, I'm gonna get about this bitch. Until we see each other again, thank you so much for your love and light, and please be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye!